Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will do the something new. Um, we will create our uh, curtain uh, mullions as you can see here. But not just this one, the straight one. We will create this curved one. I will show you how you can create kind of uh, mullions. Oh, you will see the my way, how I prefer to do that. Of course, you can find your own way. But if you don't know how to create it, if you want to know how to do that, watch this tutorial and we will create the part of this mullion today. And you will able to download it below uh, the my video. It's already you are able to download it. Just go there. But don't forget about the like and share this video. And let's get started. And as always, as you already know, I will start from the scratch. So let's create the new project. I will create the new project. Uh, I will use the architecture template. So this is I'm doing only for showing you. I'm not using any external things. Okay, here once uh, you will open the new document or you can your open your own document. Why not? Uh, what we can do the first uh, for first of all, we will create of course our uh, storefront is here. Let me will create it. Oh, it's too much. Let me. It's creating like uh, thousands meters. Okay, so here we are. And I will go back to the 3D view and now I will do everything only in 3D view. Let's create it a bit bigger like that. Much better. And what I will do for now. Uh, first of all, we need change. Uh, we need change our mullion, uh, the straight one to see the better result. As you can see, we have the here one mullion and here with another one. You cannot simply just select your mullion and change it. First of all, you need to change the profile of it. Uh, how to do that? Let's go to the file. After file, go to the new. Here, the family. And go to our English template or your own language, doesn't matter. And here, we should change to the... Um, where is our curtain? We need metric pen um, profile, metric profile mullion. It's here, as you can see. Here, there's some tips of that interior, exterior, uh, center of mullion, and that's it. So, what I'm gonna do right now, I will create, I will do the center, but I will connect it to the exterior. So, it means uh, it will be look on this way. Okay, let me will create it. I will create something like that. Let me will do that more correct. 50 millimeter. Okay. Uh, here will be like something like a, also the 50 millimeter. Here will be maybe 25 millimeter. It's okay. Uh, here will be how much here? 50. Let me create here another 50 millimeter. And here will be half 25 millimeter. Of course, it's not unrealistic now, the size of that, uh, I'm not trying to create the, uh, exactly uh, how to do it on the manufacturer, but I just wanted to show you the techniques. Okay, we did it. So here is the, our uh, mullion. And before I will do something, I will save it. Let me will save it. I will save it somewhere and I will call it like profile uh, or not, not profile. Let me will do that uh, mullion type type one why not let me will save it let's load it inside to the project we need the naming only to easy find it now what we're gonna do now still we cannot select it and change it we need to check create the our type of the mullion for that one go to the families after that go here to the mullions curtain wall mullions it's here let me will use for example a rectangular one because it's kind of rectangular, right click on that, new type, and let's rename it, rename, like uh, special type one, why not, and let's go inside of that, you just can go by double click, or you can right click and use the type properties. Okay, after that we now need to change our profile, it's here, profile. We already did it. Here, mullion type 1. Let's change it. Let's say OK. OK, now type 1 we have. So what we can do? Now let's select one of the type of the mullion. It's here, for example. First, I will filter it. I will use, uh, I will select only the mullions. 
After that, I will unpin it. You can actually change it everywhere, but I want to change only this uh, line. And now you are able to see special type here. Once you will do that, special type is here. And as you can see, it's looking on another way. It's here because here is our uh, here is our external. Okay, we we did it. Now we need the um, mirror it. You cannot simply just uh, it's looking now on this way. Now we wanna create looking to this way, this one. We cannot just use the mirror to mirror this profile. We need to create a new profile. To that, to do that, we will go back to the our uh, to the our profile. I will select it. Now I will use the mirror pix axis. I no wanna copy it, and I will just mirror it here. Okay. Now let me I will select it as as family, and we will call it Moolean type two. And don't forget to load it inside to the project. We did it. Now go back to the special type, right click, duplicate. Of course we should rename it because now it's uh, not correct. It's actually it's correct, but uh, it's not easy to find it. So what now? Now everything same. Let me I will select now this one Moolean. Filter it, check only the uh, curtain wall mullions, and unpin it and choose the type 2. And as you can see, now it's looking on the other side. So what we're gonna do right now, we now should create only the curve type 1. Because as you can see, it's now not correct. Actually, it's too small. I prefer to make it a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spend your time. What I will do? I will just, uh, I will just, I will just better. Actually, better make it a bit bigger because it's really too small. Boom. Okay, let's leave it like that. Later on, we can change it if you want. So to create uh, our special type of the mullion, uh, we need to uh, uh, create the arc. Okay, for to create arc, what we're gonna do? Again, file, new, family, and now we will go back to the uh, profile. We need uh, metric generic model adaptive, this one. Let's say it. Okay, here we are. Now I will go to the reference view. I will place it here, the point. I will select this point, and this point will be adaptive one. Okay, let me close it. I want to now get my uh, dimensions here. Let me check the dimensions. Okay, here is the 50. Here is the 50, as I remember. Here is the 25. And now it's matter here to here 30. And here to here also 25. Let me create it right now. Okay, 50, 50. Uh, oh, we need here, it will be 50 millimeter. Here also will be 50 millimeter. Here will be, as I remember, 50. Let me check. Yeah, 50 here, yeah, 25, 25. We cannot just copy this, that's the problem, because it's two different type of the geometry. 25, 25, and I think here is also the 25. No, it's here, here it's 30. Better to check because it's uh, the profile should be the same size. Uh, the best way we once we will do that arc will be same. Okay, we did it. As you can see here, we are. Uh, we did it. Now what we're gonna do? Now we need to uh, create the another uh, adaptive family. Don't uh, let's save it. Let's save it first. Save it, and let's call it uh, adaptive. Profile. Don't close it. We need no need three D view. Let's close it, and let's create uh, the new uh, family. Uh, we now need metric generic adaptive again. Okay, here we are. But before we'll start work here, we should prepare it. We should have two points. One point. Oh, it's a bit. It's a bit harder to place it. I want to place it exactly on the line. Okay, let me will set up it. And let me will... Okay. Mm, no, it's not working still. 
because I want to place it exactly on the plane. Okay, let me I'll place it one, place it two. Let's select it, let's make it adaptive. I will use a line key, much better, a line key. Now I need with the height, making the same. It doesn't matter for adaptive family, but it's better when you will prepare it. Okay, now as you can see, everything all right. Okay, uh, so now we have point one, point two, but the problem is uh, once you will change distance, for example, you will just uh, a bit extend it, right? Uh, the point where you will place it, uh, not will change the height, so it will be same. So we need somehow connect our height and our distance to change it uh, equally. So what we're gonna do? Reference, again line, and don't forget 3D snipping. One and two. Okay, now we need dimension. And let's connect one and two. Okay, now we know the, the distance. Let me, I'll select this one. Let me, I will create the parameter and I will call this parameter uh, distance. Distance. I will call it, I will do that instance and reporting parameter. So this is parameter we cannot change. This is parameter only tell us how much the uh, distance we have between one and two. And now we will play, uh, we will go back to the reference. Here I will choose the point element and I will place it exactly on the middle. Now I will select this point. I will go back to the show reference planes. I will select always and show normal reference I will uncheck it. And as you can see, now we can see all the reference planes. Now I will set the working plane, this one. Let's select it. I will go back reference, here at the point, and I will place point exactly on the point. You will get some warning, but it's okay, just say okay. Now select this point by just tab key. Let me will a bit extend. And as you can see, here is the uh, not right, um, here is the negative offset. Let me will flip it. Now it shouldn't be negative. It's still negative. I want to change it, but okay, we can leave it negative. I will, I will show you how you can manipulate with that. It's okay. It's not, it's not bad for us. Uh, now we need uh, create the parameter for the offset. Let's create the parameter. This parameter will be the height. And this parameter should be instance. Instance, okay, let's say okay, let's say okay. Now let's go back now to the family types. Let's copy the name distance and our distance, our distance be, will be dividing by two and applying by minus one. Now we will get something like that. And as you can see, we whenever we will change the distance, the our point will be ch change the distance by half distance. I mean the height by half distance. So such as uh, correct half arc. It's always will be right arc without any big problem. Okay, we did it. Now the small things. We now need, should create the arc. Just go to the reference line, choose the start and arc point radius. Don't forget about the 3D snapping and connect one to the two. Uh, one. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? What? What? Why would this problem? Because we should set work plane this one. Now again, reference arc one to the two. Let me try one more time. Let's use the tab key. Connect again. Tab key. Connect and again connect. Okay. I don't know the, what's the problem with that. But it's okay. Let me now check it. Everything working? Yeah, everything working. So we have the point, and this point is really main for us. Let me go back to the adaptive profile, this one, and let's load it inside to the, our new family. Let's load it there. Here we are. And let's place it here. Actually, it's small. Let me I'll create the distance here, the small. Something like that. It's better to see where it's going, what's going on here. And as you can see, it's not what we want. 
it's flat. Let me, I will delete it. And let's, I will place it somewhere here, point. Doesn't matter, just a point. Now I will go back to the create co components and I will place it. And as you can see, now it's not flat. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, it's looking on the right side. If it's not looking on the right side, go to the profile and just um, rotate it. Now it's looking on the right side. Let's select our profile and be careful, we should select only this arc and select this arc and let's create the form. And as you can see, here's our form. Once you will change the distance, our form will be also will be changed. Okay, now we are ready to save it. Let's save it. Let's call it the adaptive arc. Arc. And now let's load it inside to the, our uh, project. Let's load it inside to the, our project. Here we are. And now we should connect it. Again, we starting from the left side to the right side. It's a bit hard, but look on the, you should connect face to face. And as you can see, uh, the thing we should, uh, <laughs> We should change type of the our mullions. I mean, just switch it. Let me I will select it. Here I will be type one, and here I will be type two. This was my mistake when we start this project, but it's not big problem. We did it, and as you can see, we place it. Now it looks much better. But as you can see, sometimes it's really hard to place our. Uh, curtain, uh, our, I mean this panel, but you can fix it just by align key. Let me, I will align it, and I will, I, I will align it by this face and dots. Dot, it's much uh, important for you. Again, this with dots, and also we do can do with that line and this dot. And as you can see now, it's perfectly uh, placing on the right side. Again, this line and dots because our dots it's manipulating with geometry not geometry and as you can see you get arc yes of course here is the manual work but once you will creating something unique it's always will be manual work except if you are not working in gr grasshopper but to be honest uh, grasshopper on the late uh, on the late production becomes more and more not effectivity anyway now you know how without any extension, without uh, any Dynamo and Grasshopper to create kind of the form. This form have the some data, as you can see here is the distance, volume and something, something else. For example, you can get the distance, not this, dist yeah, distance of this arc, because as you know, the arc, we, we now get only this type of the distance. But uh, I think if you don't know the math, we can easily calculate by these two data, by these two data, this y, this distance. Okay, and you can just apply it here like one new data here. Anyway, I hope this tutorial was uh, really useful for you guys. Uh, if you don't know how to create it or if you're too lazy, as I said, you will find it below this video already, this document. I will give you this document with this arc and you can do whatever you want with this arc. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial.